No, the blue bloods were chosen to rule in the place of the actual Anunnaki. Okay, so they, it's like their subgroup. Okay, so they chose this particular group. They gave them a special amount of DNA to make them more aggressive. Okay, and they are the leaders of industry we see around us. They're, they're the royals, so-and-so, because they have a... Um, the reptilian, the way the reptilian societies are, is all top down. It's all hierarchical. Okay, so that's how the re the royals and who were left to rule, and that's why they, you know, they wear crowns. You know why they wear a crown? Because it's supposed to show you that they have an activated crown chakra. I have a whole presentation I do on this. Okay, and I'm I don't have my slides right here, but I can show you all of the, you know, imagery and in the temples and in all over, you know, even in, in, in churches around the world. Okay. You will see the reptilian imagery and even Christ is involved in this imagery. They use the Christ, you know. The groom is the crown prince of neighboring Dungapur. Father of the bride is Sunda Singh private secretary to the Maharaja of Jodhpur. And this is opium, highly illegal in modern India. But as we'd later discover, these are people used to getting their way. The former warrior kings of Rajput aren't about to break tradition for anyone. After the engagement, we exchange opium. Now, exchange opium means confirm of a treaty. Once there's a treaty, you sign the treaty from the both party. If there's no signature in it, here you offer a opium and they give you back, means it's now confirmed. And everybody's happy and relaxed? Yes. Everybody's happy and relaxed. And now we, the ceremony is over in the evening.